Hello, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make virtual CDs to use with Bibribbon. So, because the only other one was made by a kid and had a lot of filler. So let's get right into it. What you're going to want to do is find a song you want to use. I'm just using this one. Put it into any MP3 converter, or you can use one you already own. Then what you're going to want to do is download this app called Power ISO. It's not a virus. My computer flagged it as a virus, and it is not a virus. Or it is, in which case, I am so sorry. <laughs> but it makes digital CDs. And I think you can also put in a real CD and it'll work, but my computer doesn't have a CD drive. So once you've downloaded it, you can just open it, install it like you normally would, and then it'll make this. It'll open this app. And there's a, by the way, there is a ad every time you boot it up. It, you can click off, off of it in like five seconds. And this part's important. Make sure you press mix mode CD or else it will not work. Then what you're going to want to do is open your files and get the mp3 file you want to put in to use. And then put it in like that. As you can see, it's in there. And then you're going to want to press save. You can save it to any directory in your or you can save it to anywhere in your computer files, but I would strongly recommend putting it in the same file as your vib ribbon so that it's easy to get to. I'm just going to name it Poop because I can't think of any other name. Probably good to put name. And it'll save. It won't take that long. Five seconds. And then you can close it after it's done saving. <laughs> then what you're going to want to do is open your PlayStation thing. Your PlayStation emulator. I'm using... EPSXE, which is probably the recommended one. Run the ISO, press run IXO, and open up Vibribbon. Just taking a second to load because I'm recording, but make, and you'll see that it also saves as a Q file, just the same type that you use. Oh my god, let me hide that. Anyways, just wait for it to load and I will show you how to use it. Then just wait for it to load. If it'll load. Oh my god. Anyways, we go to play with my own choice of CD. And you can just choose the one. Oops, you can select that. It, it prompts you to insert a music CD. Just press escape, go to file, change disk, ISO. And then you're going to want to wait for it to load and choose the one you want. I'm not going to use the one I just... Or I will use it, whatever. And it will bring you back. I can't play it because that track is a copyrighted song and I will get striked. But that's it. You can just... I'll just run it. And it'll run. I can't actually play it because that is a copyrighted song and I will get in trouble. But that's how you do it. That's pretty much the gist of it. And it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, have a good day.